Halkadiki, Greece. Yamas. Yamas. This place is absolutely huge. You have all inclusive for the next 48 hours. <gasps> what was that? Welcome to Neos Marmaras. Good afternoon, guys, from Halkadiki, Greece. We are currently on a four day trip. We visit Greece, and after exploring Thessaloniki, we have headed to the beaches. This morning, on the way to Halkadiki, we checked out another vineyard. Feels like we're doing a lot of vineyards in Greece, but this is a vineyard. It doesn't produce <laughs> wine. This is Mariana's vine leaf vineyard, and we have it's a proper some, mouthful, mouthful, some isn't it? dolma. So basically, we tried this in a lot of different destinations. They have different variations, but here it's the vine leaf, and it's actually stuffed just with rice and herbs. No meat and herbs. It looks good. Mm. How are the vine leaves? Really good. Like, we've had it before. We've never had it from a vineyard. You can go over there and look at the vine leaves that are getting picked. It's ridiculously fresh. They might not do wine, but they do do grappa. Something even stronger. Yamas. In one? In one. In one. Oh, it's nice. It's burning. It's burning. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Yamas. Yamas, uh, for a vineyard that doesn't produce wine, they definitely know how to produce some alcohol. We've come up to the rooftop, unbelievable views, and then they gave us a great spirit, which is 46.8%. Um, it's like the grappa sort of thing. Well, no, it's, it. very, it's very close it's, to a cognac, yeah, I but mean, obviously we can't call it cognac, because cognac... Is only in the cognac it. region. Very selfish of them. But it is very smelly, which is nice, and we remember from all of our tastings that we We've done before that there are legs and that means that it's good the, be the bigger the legs <laughs> the better the smoother the, something the like smoother, that yeah. but I'm ready I've taken my glasses off for this oh it's very strong in one really <laughs> oh my god wow wow there is a burn and there is a there is a strong taste there it isn't even lunchtime yet <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. In fact, I'm, I'm very, very worried. But you can see there are a lot of legs going on there. And like I said, the bigger the legs, the more legs, the, the better, better <laughs> the taste. Yamas. I hope you can describe it better than I can because it really. You, you're, you my were just chest. like, it's warm. It, it warms me chest. up. No, you can. It's very oaky. Um, I think that was the one that was aged for three years, so you get that oak coming through, and of course, it is going to warm you up. Greece definitely like their vineyards, and we have now made it to the beautiful Porto Caras Resort. This is unbelievable. I'm looking at a marina in a hotel. I have never seen a marina in a hotel. And the best news, we've got all inclusive. We have all inclusive for the next 48 hours. There are islands in the distance. We've got a boat trip tomorrow. We've even got a goodie bag. How Kadiki, I'll be honest, I'd never even heard of it. And who would have thought that it would be this amazing? In the distance, you have the cutest island, which I believe is Turtle Island, and I can't believe that we are standing on a huge balcony. I'll show you more in a minute. But there's a marina. Like we and have everyone's the marina. just showing off. You've just got all yeah, the rich people all coming the rich past people, on their yachts. Um, but we have the marina, we have the sea, and we have the beach, we have pools. There's a lot going on. Let's show you the room. Um, yeah, it's the very crowning glory. The messy. balcony. Yeah, the balcony is obviously the crowning glory, but it's very messy, of course, because we've been in and got dressed. But it's a very big room. It's proper resort life. Huge double bed. We have chairs. We have sofas. Desk area. We have our TV, storage space, and a bath, shower, huge bathroom. And um, I think the most important part is going and exploring. The resort. The all inclusive. And the all inclusive. This place is absolutely huge and insane. This is, I believe, pool number one. It looks like it could pool be like the one adults many. only pool. Did you, well, you're not going to be able to go in. No, neither will you. Have actually. you seen the casino? There's a casino, there's a golf oh course. Oh my god, a casino, a golf course, pool number one. And actually, what we've just found out is that Helkadiki is made of three 
peninsulas we're on the Sethonia peninsula and there is beaches the whole way around so not only do we have all of that I think beach <gasps> then pool beach pool food I food, don't know cocktails. casino golf everything we really need to say a massive thank you to Skyscanner for being a long-term partner on our channel they actually have set us up with a task of giving you some tips on how to deal with the dreaded jet lag jet lag occurs because your body's internal body clock has basically synced to your original time zone so as difficult as it may be you do need to retrain your body to sleep at the normal time the new normal of the destination that you're in the first tip that we have for you would be to book a late flight now normally when you pop onto skyscanner you might see that the later flights are normally cheaper or the super early ones they're normally the ones at the most inconvenient time so we would suggest booking that late flight the reason we say that is because when you arrive in your new destination you will be tired hopefully and you will just fall asleep meaning you are waking up bright and fresh the next morning ready to explore your new destination the second tip that we have is to eat and drink i know that sounds crazy but jet lag pretty much occurs because your body is dehydrated um, and eating good food and drinking lots of water will stop your body from becoming dehydrated and putting you into sleep mode and the third and final tip is to be patient jet lag takes some time to get over it takes a while for your body to recover and it takes some time for your body to actually get used to the zone you're in to sink itself in with where you are we're actually lucky and i don't want to jinx it but we haven't had jet lag for a while honestly we have used skyscanner since we first started traveling and because we've made these mistakes we've learned from them and that's why our tips will be helpful but again, thank you Skyscanner for being a long-term partner on our channel and let's get back to Greece. There's loads of bars, it's all inclusive and you decide to go to the kids <laughs> mini club. I do look like I'm heading there, don't I? Um, but we found the pool that Matt it's, it's can the, swim in. It's the shortcut slide. to the bar. Shortcut to the bar, um, but yeah, Matt is going on that slide. Can I have two beers, please? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I was not expecting this. Neither was I. Not one bit. To be honest, I don't know what I was expecting, <laughs> but this is out of this world. The beach, the watercolour is... Um, I, you, I don't know, you always feel like the watercolour is going to be better on the islands, not yeah. necessarily the mainland, but that watercolour is crazy. You've got mountains oh in the background. Oh my god, this backdrop. It, it's unbelievable. You've got the village in the distance, you've got the thatched roofs, you've got the beer. Unfortunately, in a paper cup. But, um, <laughs> yeah, Matt. I can't get over how clear it is. It's super clear, but I'm slightly anxious because there's only a few people sort of dipping their feet in. Like no one's it is October. head under yet. It, it is, is October. October. Are you I'm really? gonna let you test first. <gasps> it's lovely, he says. Ah, it's cold. Oh, the pool. <laughs> yeah, well, it's definitely fresh, definitely cold, but it is very clear, very, very clear. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go all the way in though. This is about as far well, as I can go. No, 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 please. No, no, no. Just sit. I'm sinking. Okay. Three, two. <gasps> no, it's freezing. <laughs> it's cold. It's really cold, and there's fish that bite in my feet. <laughs> Yeah, mass. Oh, this is freezing, but it's so worth it. Oh, I mean, a beach bar in a swim-up pool, a pool bar, looking over at the mountains. I'm not with sure about these plastic cocktail. cups, though. A cocktail in a paper cup. Yeah. In a, I mean, in a paper cup. It's a bit strong. This. It's a what is it? It's a margarita. It would definitely warm us up. It's like 90 percent. What is in a margarita? <laughs> I don't know. Is it it tastes like gin. I think it's tequila. <laughs> If you had told me that I'd be in a swim-up pool bar in Europe in the middle of October, a month ago, I would have told you that you were mad, but here I am. I am firming the cold weather for my margarita, extra strong margarita in a paper carpet. Doesn't sound the best, but um, it's definitely worth it. And the all-inclusive here seems to include everything that all-inclusives 
would get anywhere else. Um, selected drinks, selected extra strong cocktails, and it's actually really busy um, for October, which I'm really surprised about. Not being, it's not school holidays. It's obviously a lot colder, but the prices seem to be much more affordable. There's a lot of people from neighbouring countries, a lot of people from the UK, and obviously we're lucky enough to have the opportunity to come here. But I think for around a hundred euros a night, you can do all inclusive and drink out of paper cups. I honestly still can't believe that we are in Greece in October. We've had amazing weather today, despite the fact that the pool and the it sea- was, The pool was, was freezing. freezing, I am cold. The pool was absolutely freezing. Um, I had to quickly get ready, warm myself up and come out and stand on our balcony and watch this. Like, look at this sunset, the glow, it's impeccable and- I need to go here. I need to, this is, is this Tur Turtle Island? That's Turtle Island and it's got the sunset right on it. I want to go on Turtle Island, but I just still can't believe that this is our sunset right now. We've been unbelievably lucky. But as you can see, I'm dressed. What was my... that? What was that? That was me showing my dress. Could you not see my dress? Um, we're heading for more cocktails and then we're heading for dinner. <laughs> this has got to be the coolest tap I have ever seen. We've got a tap that resembles a saxophone. Time for dinner. Fried goat's cheese in music. That works. I can't believe the size of my steak. Insane. We've already had two starters, um, and this is the Crystal Restaurant. So uh, one of the, like the speciality restaurants I think it's an here. Yeah, an add-on. Uh, there's a huge add-on here. Look at the size of this. I can't believe it. I'm that, that very. Is a beast. That is, that's almost like a whole buffalo. Don't say that. Don't say that. Hang on. <laughs> Good morning from the beautiful Halkidiki here in Greece. I ate way too much food last night. All inclusive food, but I feel like that's the point. That is the point of all inclusive, just eating and eating. We have another day to explore this beautiful peninsula, and I can't believe it. We're actually leaving the all inclusive resort. It sort of makes no sense because it's all inclusive. There's food, there's drink. Why would I want to leave? But we found out that the resort actually has, I think I can see it, it's just down there, has a small boat in the marina. I say small boat, it's a big boat, that takes you to the local village of Neo Marmarus. So that is what we're doing today. Jumping on the resort boat, heading to the village. This massive marina is ours. Um, so we is it be, yours? Yeah, it's mine. It's my marina. Um, I think that is our boat. What, this one? Yeah, and no, I this believe... One. What, the big one? The yacht. No, I don't think you can get the yacht for three euros per person, but yeah, three euros per person. We're getting on this right outside the hotel from the marina. Let's explore. And we're off. Cruising through the marina. That was such a nice touch, a five minute boat ride and we have made it to the quaint little town of Neos Marmarus. This is lovely, this feels like the real Greece. I think it has a population of around 3,000 people, tiny little red thatched roofs, little cafes. Welcome to Neos Marmarus. Um, totally it feels like a little island off of the mainland, probably just because we got on the boat actually, but um, it's beautiful. There are restaurants along the front. As it is um, October, shoulder season. It seems season, like a lot is closed. Some things are closed. There are still a lot of shops along the front here. The restaurant. Best purchase ever. I Matt, don't, need, I don't oh, need to wear your sunglasses anymore. Finally, Matt has some new sunglasses. Um, but I feel like this town, this village right now is very chill. Everyone's gone back to Athens. Everyone's yeah. gone back to Thessaloniki. So I feel like we're gonna need to just chill, find a beach, get a drink. This was literally made for us. We get off the boat here, walk around, and really the only restaurant that is open in the town is right in front of us. We've got to go in, Molly. We're going in. 
this is perfect. This is everything that I wanted from Greece and more. The most perfectly located restaurant, one of the only ones that were open and definitely the best one in the village. Pizza, Canadian, Giros. And they have huge oh draft. Oh my God, it's massive. It's bigger than my head, Mifos, for four euros 50, which is actually pretty cheap. And we have a souvlaki for Molly on the way. I'm going for a Greek pizza. I don't know what to make of that. So this looks amazing. I've basically got everything that is Greek on top of my pizza. That is so healthy for you. And I have a chicken souvlaki. So basically the difference between a girosh and a souvlaki is just the way the meat is prepared. So these are like chunks of chicken in a pita bread. I've got tzatziki, mustard, ketchup, mayo, chips, onion, tomato. Oh my I'm slightly God. regretting my decision. Well, no, the pizza looks amazing too. Are you ready? This is only three euros 50. I think that's a bargain. Big bite. Oh no, they're so hard to eat, but like, it's so good. Everything you could ever want from it. And I mean, I'm sat on the marina. There's a little beach there. With tzatziki all around your face. Oh no, is it still around my face? That is beautiful. That is as perfect as it gets. That is literally my idea of heaven. Sitting there on the cobbled streets, having your lunch, looking out at the ocean, it really doesn't get much better than that. And they even have giant, monstrous geese. We've now just walked out of the village. We're doing one of the coastal walks. The coastal walks here are lovely. We're on a hunt for a beach to chill out for a couple of hours before the boat heads back to the hotel. And that was actually only 20 euros. I think, I think that's pretty reasonable. I, I haven't really gauged Greek prices. I'm not sure what to expect, how much a beer should be, how much a lunch should be, but 20 euros in front of the sea, can't go wrong. The walk was so lovely. There were so many little coves along the way and we basically just carried on walking. We left the village, we walked all the way along the coast and then we literally were like, oh my God, we're so close to the hotel. So we were like, fine, walk we'll, walk, we'll walk along the beach. Fabulous. And now we've been stopped. We've been stopped by a river that's actually um, too deep. The hotel is, that's is the other side. I think we, do we swim? Do we swim or do we walk all the way round? That is the question. Or back, all the way back to get the boat. Oh, and I can even Always see making the there. wrong decision. We do always make the wrong decision. Couldn't swim across, couldn't walk across. Just the 30 minute walk across. back. Had to walk all the way back, but we made it for the boat, so we are actually going to get back. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank Bye you. guys, thank you very much. We got there in the end. We made it back to the resort. We literally walked for 30 minutes to find the river, to walk 30 minutes back to get on the boat. It was probably worth it because the boat trip back was amazing and we've now got changed and we've headed to Athena Palace, another hotel that is about a 20 minute drive from the resort for sunset cocktails and the sunset behind me is absolutely amazing. The beach they have here is it's the best one so far. Don't tell anyone but it's the best so far and this is actually our last night with Visit Greece. And what a way to end it. It honestly is magical. We've actually, this is like the first day that we've actually managed to watch the sun go down. Al Kadiki has some amazing beaches and some impressive, some very, very, they're, they're high on the rankings. They really sunsets. are, they really are, because you're just out watching it at sea and the sun, the sky just goes pink and it all goes down. It's just, it's just beautiful. It's cocktail time. It is though, cocktail time. Yamas. Yamas. Our drinks came basically on fire. The Greece definitely know how to throw a party. That was a party to end all parties. They had everything going on. They had gyro stands. This hotel even has its own souvlaki. She's making a souvlaki right there. Outrageous. They had the most amazing Greek style cocktails and um, I'm going to be paying for it for a very, very long time. But Halkadiki was so much fun. Somewhere that wasn't 
on our radar and the all-inclusive experience I'd highly recommend there you get prices for a fraction of the price that you'd probably pay in some of the Greek islands and you still get that beautiful blue water and right near you you have a quaint little village to explore to get the authentic Greek experience but again we have to thank visit Greece for inviting us out to Thessaloniki and Halkidiki but we have decided to stay I think for around another month and we are going to be heading first stop the capital of Greece Athens I need to recover I'll see you in the next one